Hello, hello and welcome back to Leaky Gaming and welcome back to another episode of World of Warships and today we're gonna be talking about ZF-6. So, this is the ship I have the biggest doubts about. I This is the first time I ever spent money on this game, was to finish this ship off. A couple of people uh, told me that it's a really good ship, and I was like, okay, I'm going to be playing this game. It was like nine, ten months ago. I don't know where the shipyard for making the ship was. I had four or five stages to finish, had some doubloons, and I spent... I don't know, 10-ish euros or a little bit more than that uh, to finish this ship off. And um, after people suggesting that I should do it, well, I did it. Right, I got this ship uh, because it was it is kind of third in my uh, collection with uh, ZF6, Eger and Pomern. There are three premium tier 9 ships and tier 9 ships are the best money makers in the game. I was like, fine, this is going to at least teach me... It's gonna be fun to play these ships, and I almost I play them almost every day. I have mixed feelings about this one. Now I have forty nine percent victories with this ship. Uh, don't be scared by that. I have much much bigger percentage. It's just that in the beginning I was didn't I was just learning how to play it. Now it's much much better, which I'm gonna to show you in the match today. Uh, let's talk about uh, this ship. Now, this ship has, again, has everything and has nothing. It's a German ship without hydro. This is strange for German ships. Usually German destroyers, usually, they have hydro. This one doesn't. Uh, what this one has is much more powerful Mogador or French torpedoes. What's the story with this ship? This was unfinished ship from a French shipyard that uh, occupied, when it was occupied by Germany, uh, started sailing with a German flag. I don't know what was the original name of the ship or the class it doesn't uh, really look like Mogador which would be the French version of this ship it does have the same torpedoes and the guns are a little bit smaller caliber I think Mogador has 135 millimeter or 136 something like that and this one is 128 anyway uh, but it does more damage AP shells on this bad boy actually do more damage than um, the bigger uh, guns on a boat German tier 9 uh, the destroyers or French ones we're gonna demonstrate this real quickly so we have uh, Schultz over here so we can go real quickly click on it will it give us information yes you will we have 150 millimeter uh, shells these one do uh, these 150 millimeter they do a little bit more damage as you can see there 38 millimeter pen penetration while Z46 has 128 which with a little bit less uh, damage it has only 3000 damage 32 millimeter per penetration now these guns over here have same 32 millimeter per penetration but they have a little bit more damage you can see that maximum ap shell damage is 3171 and this is what i mostly use especially if i'm clear tier 9 unless i'm shooting at the battleships or or angled ships i use ap shells full broadside cruisers destroyers all of them full broadside i usually use ap shells they don't overpen that often and they do a lot of damage so i'm really really happy plus this ship has the reload boost uh that is famous for, uh, for french ships you get 10 20 seconds we're gonna just uh, uh check how fast it is uh, here we go we have uh, action time 15 seconds we have 50% uh, or or uh, main battery reload time is 50% faster than usual for 15 seconds this launches massive amounts of shells at enemies and one to one one against one against enemy destroyers this is just shredding them apart it's a really 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 good uh, feature uh, torpedoes the problem with torpedoes is that they are only eight kilometer range and you have um, with all the add-ons that i have concealment you can see here concealment for with all the skills i have it's 5.8 so it's not the smallest so uh, enemy ships uh, have similar uh, uh, concealment not german ones but let's say japanese and other french ships they would have a similar concealment well not not french ships but i think uh, japanese american and uh, british uh, destroyers would have similar concealment like this Sh uh, shimakaze would have 5.6 so uh this is it, it 
it's it's comparable to other ships. It's not huge. Uh, the beauty of this ship is that it has really strong hitting torpedoes, even though they are short range. They have a decent reload time of only 70 on of only. Oh, if I can only find it where it is. Here we go. Uh, 90 seconds, so one and a, one minute 30 seconds, and they're really fast. They're 79 knots. Uh, I'm really happy with uh, the, with the setup of these torpedoes. They hit really really hard, 18,400 damage. Um, this is the setup I have: main armaments modification, engine room protection, a torpedo tube modification, which is increasing the speed of torpedoes, traverse speed, and all that stuff. And then we have the propulsion modification. We have concealment, of course. And we have main battery modification, reload time of the main battery is 12% reduced. Gunter Lutins are running on the, this ship because I'm trying to get him to level 21. These are the skills I have. I'm using these, the grease the gears, which increases the speed of traver, traverse speed of the turrets. Uh, Gunter Lutins adds, adds an additional 5%, so usually this calculates, I believe, 15%. This is now 20%. And of course, uh, I have the consumable specialist, which is reload time of your consumables 10% uh, faster. And this is the this is the the thing with this ship: uh, extra heavy ammunition. Um, it has 7.5% uh, bigger damage. This is probably what it, what is uh, causing a little bit more damage that we have uh, with this with this. AP shells, so we have last stand. This is ship uh, remains partially sustainable uh, and maneuverable after ingesting. Blah, blah, blah. We have additional supplements that would be uh, the smoke and the uh, speed reload, speed boost reload, of course, anti aircraft as well. Engines, so so I never use it all the time. And then survivability expert, where you would get 350 uh, HP increase for every tier that you have. And then we have adrenaline rush and concealment. One big big huge thing that is missing for me here is the rpf radio location i need this and i'm gonna have to re reshuffle these because this is absolute must for any destroyer and especially this one because it's in close quarter battles with uh, the enemies so uh, rpf is something that i need and i'm gonna have to find a way to get this on there this is the setup i am uh, running but like i said that this is something that is susceptible for to change and hopefully i will change it in the future uh, what else is to say about this ship? Some uh, mean-spirited people on the internet, on YouTube, say that this ship is ugly. Absolutely not. This is a beautiful ship. This is an amazing ship. I love to play with it and definitely is an eye candy. Uh, whoever says that it's ugly, they're lying to you. Uh, it has a couple of different camouflages. Of course, some of them does really make it ugly. Uh, I won't. I'm going to show you this one. This is our secondary uh, like uh, parade. Uh, parade camouflage, which I'm not using. I'm using the the normal one. Then let's call it a normal one. You have two different versions of these. I'm usually well, we can no. I'm usually using the darker one. Right, that's it. Uh, I think I said everything about this ship. Hopefully I did. Uh, if I did, kudos for me. Okay, let's see the match. Right, okay, let's go. So we have ZF6 here. We're gonna rush the Cap 8. The game just started. You can see on the opposite side that there's no aircraft carriers, there's no submarines, as dear Lord intended. I'm kidding, I'm a carrier player and I can't wait for the submarines. We're gonna shoot off a couple of torpedoes here. Now bear in mind these are Mogador torpedoes, they are pretty powerful and really fast, 79 uh, knots in speed they are quite short though they're only eight kilometer in range you can see it on the map there eight kilometer range that's torpedoes and 5.8 would be our concealment uh we're gonna we're gonna try to cap this one unfortunately usually well not unfortunately usually we have enemy ship contesting this cap in this case in this case no we're gonna have enemy z 46 appearing just right next to us. I'm gonna we're gonna see that in a second. We have Z46 and let's try to spam him with AP shells. Now bear in mind these AP shells are really really good. They have I put them as a heavy AP shells. I think they have a intense penetration. And of course, uh, when you put this reload booster, it can really rain a lot of steel. Uh, we did 
We did 14,251 damage to that Z. That's a lot of damage. He is he doesn't have a lot of health left, even though on the screen there you can see that it says around 50%. He must be lower than that. Unfortunately, we are spotted probably for, by the ship in the middle of the map. And he's shooting off torpedoes towards us, so that's unfortunate. Uh, but, 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 but... Uh, we are still alive. We're gonna cap this one. We disappeared from enemy radar. I'm not gonna use repair consumable because I want to engage this Z as soon as possible. Uh, only 1950 HP left. We can finish this off uh, without speed boost. Speed boost reloader, speed reloader. Uh, 380. Let's see if we can finish him off. Come on, you son of a. Oh. Not lucky at all. Not lucky at all. This is all skill. All skill. 63 HP. And <laughs> this is a rough one. This is a rough one. Looks like he got away. We are still detected. Still detected. And uh, I'm not gonna chase him. I'm not gonna chase him. This Brindisi is just waiting for us to <laughs> to show our nose out and, and to tap us on, on on our head. Right. So we're gonna go and Yamato. Yamato. Oh no. Yamato sees us. He shot at us and. Oh, you bastard. Okay, and there are more torpedoes coming in. How this is gonna turn out to be? Oh, crap, crap, crap. Let's move, move, move. Dance your ass. And <laughs> that was scratching the paint off. Okay, not lucky at all. All skill, all skill, no luck. Okay, I'm gonna go and try to chase this Z over there. So let's try to finish him off. Uh, Brindisi, uh, he smoked up. He's either coming here or turning back. They know by this time that we have a lot of ships here, so he's probably turning back. I will slowly move in and see if I can get this Republic into torpedo range because that Z, ooh, that Z could be way, way far away. Uh, so I'm just gonna go and torpedo this one and something's gonna happen right now that z actually decided to come back for some reason i don't know if he had enough of life or whatever but he decided that he doesn't want to play anymore so let's try to finish him off first uh we have smoke loaded these are brindisi torpedoes so let's smoke up and start doing some damage on that republic now bear in mind that uh, like i said previously uh, i'm not in best situation with this ship i'm not in best relationship because i don't know how to use it perfectly for example you're gonna see now several really good salvos wasted on a battleship with ap ammo i will do here and there a couple of penetrations but they're bouncing most of my shells so i should have used he shells period i shouldn't have even tried to penetrate them with the uh, ap shells we would have started a couple of fires this smoke lasts for a minute and a half so we would have much more damage with uh, he shells on this republic rather than using these uh, ap ones so he got angry he knows we're gonna farm the hell out of him so he started moving uh, he is aiming at us at the moment, but he sees that he's not gonna get a lot of damage here, so he's gonna give up and start missing us. Anyway, uh, I will see how much damage we can farm with HE. As you can see, HE does much, much more damage than our AP that we did to, to him. Another 25 seconds of smoke left. I'm gonna start slowly moving away. Uh, he's seven and a half kilometers away. I'm thinking of yeah. Let's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna send some torpedoes to his way, just because he's seven and a half kilometers. But you can see now that he started moving back. Now I don't have high hopes for these torpedoes. Uh, so, hey ho. 38, 39,000 damage at the moment. So that's that's okay. That's okay. Uh, we push them back. So we have this cap. We have uh, three ships. I have three ships behind me. We have three ships on the opposite side. And in the middle of the map, you can see that Montana moving in uh, from the side. Okay, next stop. Next stop. We have decent concealment. There's no destroyer on this side. You can see that enemy lost all but one destroyers. So what I'm going to do now is go after this... I'm gonna go forward, I'm gonna go around this island and try to get on the broadside from these guys and start torpedoing them. Okay, Republic is not moving, he's staying there, there's no point in farming him. You can see that uh, somebody turned on the radar, that would be the friendly... 
friendly Neptune. Oh, Neptune has a radar. That's my bad. You see how much I know? I don't know anything. Okay, we have Thunder here on 63,633 HP. Now, that's a, that's a full ship. I'm gonna try to go close. I'm hoping because they're taking this cap that he's not gonna run away, that he's gonna go directly towards our cap. Because he's protected uh, from our friendly ships with an island, we just lost a conqueror there. And he's gonna go nose in directly towards a cap to get behind these islands into safety. So as soon as I notice that he's going fast in, I decided to send him some torpedoes. He's losing speed, so more or less he's gonna be in this location when he turns fully where he wants to go. I'm gonna start to kite away from him, uh, just to stay invisible. We are 6.2 kilometers away and we're pretty much safe, he cannot really catch us. So we're gonna go and prepare just in case if we don't destroy him to finish him off. Uh, so these torpedoes are looking really good. Bear in mind, there are 72 knot, 79 knot torpedoes. They are really fast, and it's really hard to avoid them. We have three hits, two floods. He is repairing straight away. Five hits altogether, 100,000 damage in total. That would be 60,000 damage. But look at him. He's printing a new ship. 6,000, 7,000, 8,000 health he's recovering fast if i smoked up and started farming him first of all nobody is spotting him on the map so he would disappear second of all i don't think i would be able to finish him off so i'm gonna go back towards the middle to see if i can uh, slow them down this thunder is not going anywhere brindisi is there though he might do something i have 10 seconds until new torpedoes are reloaded i was thinking about putting a uh, torpedo salvo or two into that brindisi but unfortunately he started moving inwards like thunderer did and this time the island was in a way so montana there on 17,000 uh, health points i think i'm gonna try to help finish this montana because we have an island i have an island between me and three enemy ships so only me and montana here and two friendly ships currently it's five versus three and uh, five enemy ships versus three of us uh, Brindisi is not coming in, so it's me against Montana, and uh, let's see if we can get her. So we have a plane spotter plane spotted us. I forgot to turn off the anti-aircraft guns. Usually I turn them off after using them. Uh, but this Montana shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, only 5,000 damage or so. Uh, this was easy pickings, and we even started the fire here. And Montana was done. There was nobody to continue sp to spot me. So nobody is coming here. Nobody is shooting at us. We have Benham there behind the island. We have Republic. We have Brindisi. And this Thunderer. Uh, sorry, yes, this Thunderer. He repaired to 29,000 already. So he's, he's coming back. By the way, he's going to be the last ship surviving. Uh, right, so we have a uh, Republic here. It looks like they're rushing as well, or at least going towards the cap. The, bear in mind that they still have a destroyer, and there's only two of us here, four versus two. Republic is going in. I'm going to send torpedoes, and one of them is going to be a little bit short, just in case he decides to change his mind. Now, he has 19,000 HP. Two torpedoes will be necessary to sink him. I am rushing into this cap because I see Brindisi's plane behind me. As you can see, Brindisi over there. Uh, so I can be outside of spotting range. And I still didn't turn off the anti-aircraft gun, of anti-aircraft fire. So that was really bad on my part. Really bad gameplay. Like I said, I still have a lot to learn. Republic is going down. I'm going to rush into this island and slam the island so I can turn all the guns towards Brindisi. Now, this is going to be another mistake that I do often, often, often. I switch to AP shells because Brindisi is going full broadside. Now, one thing about Italian cruisers, they are really, really fast and they are really... Uh, they, they, their turning circle is really small, so probably should have gone with AP sh with HE shells all the way rather than these AP shells because you can see that he's gonna be bouncing a lot of shells, he's gonna be ricocheting a lot of my shells, and that was just a wasted damage. With uh, AP shells, we would be doing more damage and uh, potentially starting fires, which would be really good. Now, unfortunately, when Bredis is dancing like this, there's also one thing you need to know. He's firing torpedoes at you. Now, this is another thing that I didn't realize at the moment. 
uh, there was a lot of torpedoes coming my way, so uh, I stayed in the same place without moving. He was constantly missing us. Now full broadside, we will get quite a few decent shots, but you can see on the screen torpedoes showing up and there's no way out of this. <laughs> So let's do as much damage as we can and we're gonna get this torpedo. I fired off a couple of torpedoes as well, but I don't have high hopes that he's gonna actually run into them. Okay, 139,233 damage. Uh, that's nice. That's not bad. Uh, that, that might be my record. I'm absolutely an average player. I'm not special here. This is just a good match I wanted to share with you guys. Okay, Brindisi versus Neptune. Uh, Neptune wins 4-0-2 HP. Okay, so we have uh, on the other side Stalingrad, 16,000 HP. Montana on 20,000. This would be easy, easy victory for Montana. But Montana is broadside to two different ships. And uh, Montana is still showing broadside to uh, Stalingrad. And when you're turning towards a ship, you're raising your belly up and this is really really bad because if somebody knows how to play on the opposite side that belly up means citadels citadels 300 uh, just under 400 damage on this stalingrad a uh, friendlies are gonna try to hit him in dark and there we go uh, Johan de Witt finished off the Stalingrad and this thunderer that we torpedoed in the beginning is the last ship standing on the opposite side thunder versus yugomo and Johan de Witt and Yoshino. Now, Johan de Witt and the, the, the Netherland airstrikes are quite mean and nasty thing. I have the Seven Provincien and it's really, really nasty, especially when I have multiple airstrikes at the same time. It literally took like 14,000 damage, uh, health points here. And the last salvo from Yoshino finishes off Thunder. Okay, so let's check the stats here, statistics. We have uh, enemy warships destroyed uh, by Captain Kuka. That would be Captain Hook. I'm checking here if we have any missions that we completed because, uh, because 720, 718,000 credits of income after one battle is quite a lot. I don't think I'm running any flags for income here. Uh, and pure credit 666,000. Now that's a devilish amount, isn't it? Right, this is one of my best games, so I'm gonna leave it here. Uh, let's check the team score. Right, and as a last thing, team score two and a half thousand and forty nine. The 49 uh, base XP. Uh, we're the first ship here with three kills. I didn't even realize that we killed three ships. Uh, I need to learn a lot. I still have a lot to learn. This is just one of those games. Uh, it was a really nice one. But anyway, look, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, leave a nasty comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, notification bell, ring it, comment section, hit it. And if you want to support the channel, I have a description of the video. Guys, happy what's today, Tuesday. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye bye.